Dr. Stuart Hameroff is the Director of Consciousness Studies at the University of Arizona, Tucson. He's also a practicing anesthesiologist. Okay, everything is gonna go real smooth. You just pick out a nice dream and you'll wake up feeling really, really nice. Under anesthesia, patients don't dream, even though I said pick out a nice dream, we always say that, but there's no awareness, there's no passage of time. Patients wake up, they don't know if they've been asleep five minutes or five hours. Anesthesia takes away consciousness. The brain under anesthesia is quite active, and the difference is, is still somewhat mysterious. Years watching over patients in the operating room made Hameroff obsessed with understanding the link between brain activity and consciousness. Then, 15 years ago, he met the great British physicist Sir Roger Penrose. Together, they developed a radical new theory for how the brain works, a theory that has grown into nothing less than a scientific argument for an eternal soul. At its root are tiny structures inside our brain cells called microtubules. If you look inside a cell, you find the structural components that are somewhat like the bones within our, our bodies. The microtubules develop literally a forest inside each cell, which determines the architecture and the structure of the cell. And we think microtubules are perfectly designed to be the cell's onboard computer and process information at the molecular level. Hameroff and Penrose argue that microtubules allow neurons and the brain as a whole to function as a quantum computer, performing operations in a fundamentally different way from normal computers. So here we have a brain with two hemispheres. Most views of the brain are of a collection of individual neurons. When one neuron fires, it sends a signal to the next neuron at a synapse. That in turn causes that neuron to fire, and that neuron causes another neuron to fire, much like dominoes. So for example, if a neuron fires here, it's gonna trigger its neighbors to fire, sending signals through and around the brain. That's the classical view of how the brain works. In a conventional computer, signals move around from place to place along traceable paths. But the microscopic components of a quantum computer are connected via a mysterious process called entanglement. Some of us think that quantum processes play an important role in consciousness in the brain. So for example, if there's neuronal activity here, it may be coupled through quantum non-locality to processes over here. These neurons are connected even though they're spatially separated so that activity here instantaneously affects activity over here. Hameroff and Penrose argue that a change in the microtubules in one brain cell can affect microtubules in another. But that's not all. Quantum theory claims that every single point in space, even empty space, can contain information. At the very fine structure of the universe, there is information, quantum information, not unlike these dominoes, so that we can have information up or down, here and here, but they're connected, so that something that happens here influences something here. This means the information in the microtubules can connect and become entangled with the universe outside the brain. So just like these two neurons may be entangled, it's possible that the information of consciousness of the whole brain is entangled and can exist in the universe at large. According to Hameroff, our souls are built from something much more fundamental than neurons. They are constructed from the very fabric of the universe. 